Excuse me, little dog. Oh, look out! Whoop de doo! Alright, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of everything. October has arrived in a blaze of glory. Hallelujah. Sunday, October 1st, 2023. So we're going uh, to get into our full Sunday Doomsday Sermon uh, in a while. I just want to make a just a short uh, video uh, responding to a couple of strange comments I have gotten uh, in, here recently from uh, from listeners. Before I do, I want to make a comment on a on a comment I have not gotten. Does anybody know where Book Hermit is? Uh, I don't think we've heard from Book Hermit in four or five days. I'm getting a little bit concerned where you might have lost Book Hermit to Corona Panic or something. So, Book Hermit, did, did I say something to piss you off or is your computer down or what? We're missing one of our major lieutenants. So, Book Hermit, come back. But uh, while we're waiting for Book Hermit to uh, return, I, I have just noticed over the past week or so, I have gotten just a, a bunch of comments where I will make a comment, uh, just some minor comment somewhere in a rant, and some and my listeners will pick up on this comment and jump to some crazy conclusion. I. Just, just to pull one of these out of the hat, then we're going to get to the real one. Like I mentioned a couple of days ago that the zoning here at Bugs in a Jar Farm is forest recreational, which is a fancy word for hunting, that Tioga County, New York, considers this property to be prime hunting uh, territory, so I get a good tax break on that. So, Tioga County, New York, maybe 50 years ago, makes the zoning for Bugs in a Jar Farm hunting. So, because I bought a place in 2019 which was zoned for hunting and built a vacation cottage rental business on that land. So, you allow hunting at Bugs in a Jar Farm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know when I go out uh, and rent a vacation cabin, I like to hear the sounds of gunfire going off all day and, and bullets whizzing by. Yeah, I, I allow hunting at, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. You know, come on guys. Don't hurt me, but as I did tell that fellow, uh, I have no problem with hunting on uh, on my property, at least when I'm not here for the winter. If it weren't for these vacation cabins sitting here, I would have absolutely no problem with my neighbors hunting on this property. Hopefully, they would share their bush meat with me. I, I am not anti-hunter. I would love uh, somebody to bag a deer on my property and give me, a, you know, a bunch of venison steaks. But now that these cabins are up, it ain't going to happen. But that's not the, the, the comment I wanted to talk about. I want to... Uh, this is a comment I found waiting for me this morning from some absolute clueless moron named John, John Thornally, I guess. Uh, John Thornally, who apparently uh, 
Now, since he used the term ass-licking toady, me just uh, define the terms because some of the people on this channel don't, or I, I, I don't normally use language like uh, ass-licking toady uh, on this channel. I use the term ALT over here on this family-oriented channel, but since John uh, is calling himself an ass-licking toady, I, I, I'm going to make an exception. So, uh, John's comment, well, all right, so what he was responding to is I mentioned in a recent rant that when I went down this rabbit hole in 2008, I was thinking that global industrial civilization probably had until the 2070, more or less, is when I was thinking, you know, first coming down this rabbit hole in 2008, I figured 2070 sounded about right that global industrial civilization was going to uh, collapse. Uh, but over the years, as I've watched things unfold uh, and watched the pace of it, I now think I am looking at around 2050 when, you know, when, the, when there can be no question about whether global industrial civilization has collapsed or not. We all know what we're talking about. So I have moved the clock up from 2070 to 2050 about uh, the collapse of global industrial civilization. And so this is what John had to say. Moving quite a bit closer to us so-called ass-licking toadies then, if you still use that language. Uh, well, as they say, since John used it to describe himself, and my computer has just crashed. This is, this is, uh, don't know what is going on here. Uh, since John used that language, I guess, to us so-called ass-licking toadies, I will explain to you what an ass-licking toady is. An ass-licking toady is someone from the near-term human extinction uh, group who think that humans are going to be extinct anywhere, I don't know, is it 2026 or, or uh, 2030 now, John? Uh, and anyway, obviously, the ass that we're talking about being licked is, I, I will say it again, I don't say it many times, is Guy McPherson, uh, is the leader of this doomsday cult, uh, spouting this unadulterated horseshit that humans are going to be extinct in the next three to seven years. Uh, so John Thornley, like I guess like most uh, intellectuals uh, in the ass-licking toady movement, does not understand the difference between the collapse of global industrial civilization and the extinction of the human race, which is somewhere about the difference between Sancho Panza and a Saint Bernard. They have nothing to do with each other. So this was my response to John's comment, moving quite a bit closer to us ass-licking toadies. Okay, for anybody who does not understand this, I have moved up the date for the collapse of global industrial civilization. Unfortunately, the collapse of civilization will not mean the extinction of humans who will 
continue right on about their business, though in greatly reduced numbers on the other side of the bottleneck. In fact, the collapse of civilization could quite possibly accelerate the sixth mass extinction as the starving survivors literally eat every one of our fellow earthlings who survive it. Ass licking toadies, which I guess include you, are still the single most clueless morons in the Doomosphere, and your guru continues to give all Doomers a bad name and make all of us a laughing stock. Although preppers are not far behind the near-term human extinction group of idiots. So uh, I hope that I have set the record straight uh, that I, I think it speaks for itself. But anyway, enough of this. We are going to move on to uh, hear from a fellow I have never heard of in my life. I really like this guy named Marshall Brain. Marshall Brain. Uh, coming up in our Sunday Doomsday Sermon, coming right up. Bye, guys.